Chad's a little twerp. He's gonna hit the canvas hard. This is the guy that I'm gonna love to punch in the face. <laughs> Tomorrow, Irish superstar Conor McGregor. I'll eliminate Mini Mendez. That's no problem. Battles powerhouse Chad Mendez. I get to beat the crap out of Conor McGregor and get a belt. I'm gonna butcher you. You should have stayed home, kids. When we step in that octagon, I'm gonna be looking to rip his head off. It's not all talk here. I'm gonna wait out everyone in this division. Epic UFC events, live from Vegas. Tomorrow, before the McGregor-Mendez fight, Matt Brown wages war against Tim Means in the UFC 189 prelims. Getting it done tonight. Then, Sunday, two top strikers. They're slugging it out. Ellen Berger versus Thompson in the Ultimate Fighter finale. Tomorrow, the UFC 189 prelims. Sunday, the Ultimate Fighter finale on Fox Sports 1. Our kick-ass fans have made the UFC the fastest-growing sports organization in the world. To say thanks, we've launched UFC Rewards, where you can now earn points by doing things you already do, like visiting us online, watching UFC.tv, buying pay-per-view events, and more. Then redeem your points for things like limited edition collectibles and exclusive experiences that won't be available anywhere else. It's free to join, so visit UFCrewards.com to get started today. UFC Rewards. Get as good as you give. UFC fans, the Octagon is right at home here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as we welcome you to the official weigh-ins for UFC 189, Mendez versus McGregor. Tomorrow night, only on pay-per-view, two of the best in the world will battle for the UFC Interim Featherweight Championship as second rank contender, Chad Money Mendez, who has finished five of his last six wins by knockout, four of those in the first round, gets another shot at UFC Gold as he faces the notorious one. Third rank contender, Conor McGregor, arguably the most popular and without a doubt, most confident mixed martial artist in the world today. And he's 5-0 and oh inside the octagon. Also tomorrow on pay-per-view, UFC welterweight champion, ruthless Robbie Lawler, the vicious finisher who first entered the octagon in 2002 at age 20, makes his first title defense against Rory McDonald, who in 2010 also made his UFC debut at age 20, and will look for redemption and reward as he attempts to avenge his 2013 loss to Lawler and leave the new UFC welterweight champion. We'd like to send out a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members and thank our UFC sponsors. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happened. Harley Davidson, the only motorcycle worthy of being in the octagon. Roll your own. Metro PCS, where you can get unlimited data, talk, and text on the nationwide T-Mobile network. $30 period. And by Mark, fueling athletes safely. And now to get the official weigh ins for UFC 189 underway, here is Joe Rogan. Look at this crowd! Whoa! Ariane, ladies and gentlemen, Chrissy, Vanessa! Dana White, without him, none of this would be possible. Lorenzo Fratino, we would not be without him. Joe Silva, best matchmaker on the planet. Bruce Buffer, the voice of the Octagon. And you savages, welcome to
the weigh-ins. We got an incredible card for you. We're going to kick things off in the lightweight division. Yostini Sedeno versus Cody Fester. We need an official here to weigh him, please. This is hilarious. We have the biggest weigh-in of all time, and the official's not here to weigh him. I'm too dumb to work one of these, or I would do it. Congratulations, you made it on time. Cody Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Sedano. First fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Fester and Yostini Sedano. The next fight takes place in the flyweight division. Neil Siri versus Louis. up on the scale, Luis Smoka. 126. And his opponent, Ireland's own, Neil Siri. This does not feel like Vegas, this feels like Dublin. The next fights take place on Fox Sports 1. We kick off the prelims in the bantamweight division. Cody Garbrandt versus Henry Briones.
136 for Mr. Brianna. And his opponent, Cody Nola Garbrandt. gentlemen the next fight takes place in the welterweight division Cahal Pendrick versus John Doomsday Howard
170 and a half for Mr. Slick. Alex Garcia and Mike Swick, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight also takes place in the welterweight division. Matt the Immortal Brown versus Tim the Dirty Bird Meads. from Mr. Meads and his opponent Matt the Immortal for Mr. Brown. That has all the potential to be the fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Tim Means and Matt Brown. Next, we move to the main card. Live on pay-per-view, we kick things off in the bantamweight division. Brad Pickett versus Thomas.
his opponent, Gunnar Nelson. versus Rory McDonald for the UFC welterweight title is one of the most important rematches that division has ever had. What we got to see with Robbie Lawler when he re-entered the UFC for his second stint in the octagon at 170, we got to see a Robbie Lawler who has matured, a Robbie Lawler who has learned some incredible lessons from all of his great fights against world-class competition. He's been in there with Rory McDonald. He knows what Rory McDonald can do, and Robbie also knows what he can do. I wasn't really worried about the hype around Rory at the time. I knew what I was capable of. My coaches knew what I was capable of. I was able to get a victory and then jump that ladder quick. We got to see Robbie Lawler, who's training out of American Top Teams, and the results of that have been absolutely spectacular and have led him to the UFC welterweight title. Rory McDonald is the clear number one contender. Rory McDonald has looked absolutely sensational since losing a decision to Robbie Lawler in a very close fight. You know, it was a good fight. I learned a lot from it and made me grow into a, a better fighter. 
I think going into this next fight, uh, he's going to see a different Rory. Good shot. Hard punches by I always go in there trying to, you know, to demolish my opponent and leave untouched. I'm going into this fight as the best Rory yet. You know, I'm a different fighter technically and uh, most importantly mentally. You know, I have a will to win that, that won't be broken. I expect to see one of the most skillful and one of the most high level fights we have ever seen in a UFC welterweight championship title. I want to go out there and dominate and show that I'm the best fighter in the world. I don't know, I'll be Robbie. I really don't see anyone in the welterweight division stopping me. I just feel that I'm the best right now and, and no one's on this level. I'm looking to finish. I'm looking to, to knock you out, submit you if possible, and really I just want to go out there and beat you up. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for the UFC welterweight championship. Introducing the challenger, Rory! for the challenger and his opponent the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world ruthless Robbie Lawler Challenger Rory McDonald. Rory, this is one of the most important fights in the UFC's welterweight division. Give us your thoughts on this rematch and what it means to be fighting in such a huge, huge event. Well, it's, uh, it's an honor, you know, uh, to be on a card with this many people attending. It's, it's an amazing, it's like a dream come true. Everything came together at the right time. And, uh, you know, I really feel like this is going to be my moment. Good luck to you, sir. Can't wait to watch tomorrow night. Rory McDonald, ladies and gentlemen. And the champion, Robbie Lawler. Robbie, this title is something you have worked so hard for. You are here now in one of the biggest events in the history of the sport. Give us your thoughts on Rory as an opponent, what tomorrow night means to you. I'm the man. I'm going to go out there and show it. I'm going to knock his ass out. Thanks for coming. Here I come. Robbie Lawler, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's take a closer look at the two men involved in the main event of the evening. I wouldn't want to fight me. None of them want to fight me. This is my time to shine and I'm going to take that belt. I feel like the champ already. That's what makes me different. The notorious Connor. It's not all talk here. I'm gonna wipe out everyone in this division. I said that, and I will do it. He's gonna whoop his ass. Big combination. He's gonna hit the canvas hard. Oh! I will go out and I'll put him stiff. He's out. I step up and fight. I don't out like the rest of them. This is why everyone's been talking about Connor. It's all over. Connor's never fought a guy that knows he's the baddest man on the planet. I have that mentality. Connor 
made it very personal. I'll eliminate Chad Mini Mendez. It's no problem. I don't like him. He doesn't like me. Chad's a five foot six, overblown bodybuilder. I have an eight inch reach advantage on him. I will tower over him. Conor McGregor, I'm still looking forward to whooping your ass, buddy. You know, I knew as soon as we started going back and forth uh, through, you know, the media, I will come back hunting for your little midget head. This is going to be a guy that I'm going to love to punch in the face. Oh! Chad's a little twerp. He's a little short ass, five foot two, bantamweight that's running his mouth. He can say what he wants, it's not going to bother me at all. When we step in that octagon, I'm going to be looking to rip his head off. I see many, many shots landing on Chad. It's a whole lot of ball game when they get hit by me. Anywhere in the soft part of the face and the fight is done. This could be it. It's perfect for me. I get to get in there, beat the crap out of Conor McGregor, and get a belt. There's not a man alive that can beat me. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC interim featherweight title. Introducing the notorious one, Conor. is a, an overblown midget um, tomorrow night I'm going to cut him in half and raise gold for Ireland for my country good luck to you sir Conor McGregor ladies and gentlemen I'm here with Chad Mendez Chad I've never seen you in this kind of a situation with a fighter before, with all the trash talking, usually a gentleman, give us your thoughts on Connor and what tomorrow night means to you. This is fucking awesome, man. Look at this shit. Woo! It's time to take what's mine, baby. Woo! Chad Mendez, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thank you for coming out to the weigh-ins. We will see you all tomorrow night.
Chad's a little twerp. He's gonna hit the canvas hard. This is the guy that I'm gonna love to punch in the face. <laughs> Tomorrow, Irish superstar Conor McGregor. I'll eliminate Mini Mendez. That's no problem. Battles powerhouse Chad Mendez. I get to beat the crap out of Conor McGregor and get a belt. I'm gonna butcher you. You should have stayed home, kid. When we step in that octagon, I'm gonna be looking to rip his head off. It's not all talk here. I'm gonna wipe out everyone in this division.